If you have an old car, especially a Honda, I'm talking 2008 or even earlier, or even earlier you need to watch this video. So this has happened to us twice. We got a uh, our catalytic converter stolen. Again. Again. Second time we parked on the street. First time was in a CRV. So the CRV is higher, which is why we were told that it's more common. Uh, that was about 15 months ago. And then, this, so last week I parked out here because we parked one of our cars on the street. And so came out yesterday to take my daughter somewhere and turn it on and it is loud and shaking and the engine lights on and it makes the same exact noise as I remember last time when I had no clue what it was. And we were told that this usually happens to higher cars, but I have a friend in the suburbs that had this happened with a, I think, a, a, no, a Toyota. No, a Toyota. I think she okay. has a Toyota and it's low to the ground. So now they have found a way to lift these cars and uh, quickly, because this happens very quickly, and uh, steal the catalytic converter. What is the catalytic converter? We Googled it. It's this um, part of the car, and I may probably butcher this description, but it makes the car pollute less, uh, throw out more bad emissions into the world, right? So the reason they steal it is because it has three types of metals that have become very valuable, have increased in price, specifically in 2021. So they cut it out of your car because it's exposed in old models, in newer models, it's hidden so they can't get to it so what did we do the last time this happened to us so the last time we did the that this happened to us we filed a police report we then filed a claim with our insurance and then we took it into a shop the local shop that we go to they had to order a catalytic converter they have somebody that they source them from mm -hmm. new or new ones um, replacement and so then they put it in and just waiting for the paperwork this can run anywhere from your deductible which could be 250 500 up to four or five thousand dollars depending on the model and, the and how much work to be done and how much damage it did to your car right because we just noticed that our tailpipe got was bent uh, it looks like it was cut it was cut but and the only reason that I know anything about that is I googled about the catalytic converter and possibly putting a cage around it or some right. type of something to try and deter uh, and not make it as easy to get to. Um, but it, they said something about the tailpipe being cut. I'm not sure why, maybe it's connected. I don't know, we'll Google it and find out. <laughs> That's the least of my worries right now. So you're saying that they cut the tailpipe, you can see it cut? That's what I read. They get under the car and this is a low car, so they use a portable hydraulic jack. Yeah. To lift it. And they do it super quick. But your car is gonna sound like you've pimped it up. My mother would love that sound because she likes a turbo, a car with two mufflers but it smells too obviously because the catalytic converter is helping with the emissions from the car this car is 20 years old it happened to our car our other car our crv which the, was our new car remember the video that i posted when i said goodbye to that car it's right here that car got it um stolen too so because we parked that car indoors we thought little greeny which is what we call this car because it's green is 20 years old it's lower to the ground they won't do that well, we're here to tell you, tall, low, they're finding a way. And like my husband was saying, as long as they get, you know, the money from selling these metals, these so parts with these metals to so scrap yards, this is going to continue happening. It ha we are in the city of Chicago, but we've heard it happens in the suburbs and probably in whatever city you're you're living in and we wanted to let you know because we had no idea what a catalytic converter was and how valuable it's turned out to be has this happened to you uh and let us know how you solved it because the cage is not cheap no the cage is not cheap and i'm not sure what model if if we put on a cage and they weld it on then what model would work so that's going to be the next step too 
So first thing we need to do is get this replaced so that the car is drivable and yeah. not waking up an entire neighborhood. And then the second thing is gonna be figuring out what do we do in terms of like additional protection if that will even work. And we also have a friend who said you could put a um, an older catalytic converter, like a, like a used one, like a second hand. <laughs> yeah, second hand. Um, but uh, the, in the the last one, we we used a new one, and the insurance was able. Because that was what the yeah. That's and what the insurance got. was able to cover it, so we were okay. So there you have it. It's just like a public service announcement from us to you very early in the morning, because now we have to take the car to the shop. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and, you know, get your notifications for our weekly videos.